Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of my series where I play some Battle Spot singles. Uh, like I said, I did the live team builder for it the other day, and so I'm going to try and play with this team for this week. A uh, quick update on what's going on. So Matt will still should still be uploading VGC battles this this week, because I still we still want to make sure we're getting out um, consistent VGC content while... I do this stuff on the side because um, like right now the singles stuff is kind of on the side or anything else I do just to try and I don't know, just try and peak interest and uh, appeal to other Pokemon fans as well than just VGC so and it's just more fun try to do some fun stuff too so not take things so seriously and then another thing is the Gardevoir team analysis I'm gonna be working on finishing that today or after I'm done recording some of these battles and then we are going to or then I'm going to have that uploaded this week sometime, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I really like how the PowerPoint turned out, and you'll want to you'll want to miss that, especially if you really want to play with a Gardevoir team. So, anyways, so like I said, I got this team. Uh, I did stick with Knockoff Scizor. I actually changed Knockoff to HP Fire on Tangrowth. I figured Tangrowth could be a good uh, Ferrothorn check as well. So, anyways... I'm going to hop right in, and this is my first Battle Spot singles battle since I, way back in 20, early 2015 when I started getting into competitive Pokemon. So this this should be fun. I have no idea how this is going to go. Like I said, I'm not super familiar with the, the meta, but, um, <laughs> sorry, some guy chasing his dog or something. Uh... So and hopefully we find some battles. I don't know if this is like as bad as VGC battles. I'd imagine there's more players playing singles, but I guess we'll find out. Um, halfway through the week, we may my my rating may reset. Cause I don't think I'm gonna record all of these today before the ladder resets during maintenance. So um, yeah, so what I'll probably do is we'll, our rating will like go up or down a little, and then maybe like halfway through the week it'll reset back. So anyways, find our first one from Japan, the rating of 1586. Rocking a team of Umbreon, Mimikyu, Breloom, Garchomp, Venusaur, and Charizard. So if I had to guess, I wouldn't be surprised if both Venusaur and Charizard are Mega, and she, this person just kind of chooses what they want to bring. Um, Mimikyu is actually the second most used Pokemon in Battle Spot singles. Apparently it's really good with its disguise ability and being able to set up Swords Dance and just spam Shadow Sneak. Um, so immediately, the most threatening thing to Scizor is the Charizard. So I expect Charizard to, to come. Um, my best answers for Charizard are definitely in Thunderous, Garchomp, and Heatran. I don't know if Charizard carries HP Ice for Garchomp, but so those three are probably my best answers. Where Heatran walls it, Thunderous can just KO it. Um,. So I'd expect Charizard to come. Uh, maybe he, maybe Garchomp, because Garchomp can threaten Heatran and Thunderous. What is this fastest Pokemon? Garchomp is faster than Thunderous. Man. Alright, I'm going to lead Heatran. Scizor in the back. And what else is threatening? Oh man, this is tough. Let's go... Tapu Fini. Okay. So I'm not bringing Garchomp. Um, I said, I'll see how this goes. Like, I have no idea exactly what I'm doing. Maybe I can trap something in with Magma Storm. But I would not be surprised to see a Garchomp lead here. And I wonder how much setup my opponent has. Cause... No, he leads Breloom. Okay, so, well, no. This isn't incredible because Breloom is a fighting type and that will threaten Heatram. Uh, Tapu Fini is not the best switch in either. Ooh, oh, this is a like game timer. This isn't your time. That's neat. Uh, and I doubt I can take. I am faster though. Unless he's Scarf. Hmm. Because I could trap him in, get Scizor in, and set up. Cause I can't imagine Breloom can do too much to Scizor. Tapu Fini's not great against it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just go for the Magma Storm. Because I will be faster. We do connect. See how much this does. Should do quite a bit, if not knock out. 
But it's probably, yeah, it is a sash variant. And I trap it in. So I'm assuming, a, see what's coming in here, spore. Well, we'll get rid of the Breloom because of the residual damage. Okay, so he was just leading the spore. So I get, we trade Breloom for Heatran going to sleep. So I wonder if, I wonder if Garchomp's coming in now and setting up a Swords Dance. Yeah, so this thing's gonna set up a Swords Dance now, which is really scary. Ah, uh, switching in. Dang, Finny's not gonna be the best answer for. I feel like I need to keep Heatran to deal with Charizard. Let's see, he sets up a Swords Dance here, and then Tech Rage probably takes out Tapu Finny. Especially considering I'm guaranteed to sleep. So this is actually really bad. I don't know why I didn't consider the Spore. So I should have taunt I should have taunted the Breloom. That would have been way better. I was like, expecting a fighting move or something. Yeah, that makes sense. Like putting me to sleep so you can get the free switch into uh Oh man. Alright. Um Yeah. So he is going to set up here. Go for Earth Power. Oh, he just goes for Earthquake. Okay, that's that's okay. I'll just get rid of. I'll let Heatran go down. Hmm. Now, I wonder if I want to go to. I guess I can go to Tapu Fini. I wonder if Garchomp carries Poison Jab. This Garchomp has Poison Jab. So I can go into Fini. Let's see. I can go. Because I don't know if this is the right Pokemon to set up on. But I don't know what he has in the back. Maybe I should have preserved Heatran. Just considering Bullet Punch won't take this thing out. Maybe, maybe Scissor wasn't the right bring. Uh, yeah, I'll go out into Feeny. Problem is, if he has Charizard in the back, I'm in trouble. Which he could very well switch this out into. So I kind of want to go for a Nature's Madness on the off chance. Oh, I forgot to add Haze. I'm gonna go for Nature's Madness and see if he switches this thing out because Garchomp is pretty threatened. Oh, he does have Poison Jab. This can't do more than half, can it? Oh wow, it does. Dang, that did a lot. Skinny's not as bulky as I thought. Yeah, so this is uh isn't the best. I'm gonna switch out. Now we got this thing weakened. I'm gonna switch out. This will eat the poison jab. Hopefully, it doesn't have fire fang. That's, I'm really hoping that's what that tells me. Yeah, he goes for the poison jab. So this is my time to set up right here. Um, problem is if he has Charizard. I mean, if he has Charizard, I'm probably gonna lose anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a sword stance. Okay, he doesn't switch. What if he has fire fang? Oh, that would suck. So I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna go for the sword stance here. He might just be going for Earthquake. Yeah, so he doesn't have the fire move. He's just going for the Earthquake. I think a Bullet Punch can take this out from this range. Okay, it is less than half. But I mean, if, this, if there's char charges in the bag, this is over. But I should have. That would have been a reason. I should have preserved Heatran for that reason, for that purpose. Yeah, that would have been good too. So I'm going to... I'm just going to Bullet Punch. I don't know if this will take it out or not. Let's find out. Okay, it does. Alright, I mean, I could see him not bringing Charizard just because I have so many things I can threaten it with Heatran, Garchomp, and Thunderous. No, but it is Charizard. Figures. So I should have. Maybe Heatran wasn't the right bring. So. I think my hope. Let's see. Well, is, there any, is there any out here? Because he Mega Evolves, goes for a Flamethrower. I guess I could Bullet Punch and maybe... I don't. I doubt I live a Solar Beam is the thing. So I'm going to Bullet Punch. And then I'm going to just bring in Finny and hope I can maybe beat it with a busy move. But he, like, Solar Beam should just take me out. Okay, or maybe it has Fire Blast and it misses. That would be, like, ideal. So I'll go for Bullet Punch here. I don't think this will do too much. 
And not even half. Nope, flamethrower. So that'll take me out. So, good game to my opponent. And then a solar beam should clean me up. I'll just go for the Z move. I doubt it'll take out this thing, but... I definitely should have saved Heatran. I just was really afraid of him setting up. But I should have, like, that's... Yeah, I mean, that's the learn. That's the life lesson there. So, yeah, because if I save the Heatran, Heatran can come in and just... I'm, I mean, I don't know if it has Hidden Power Ground or something like that, though. So I'll go for the Z move. He should have Solar Beam. I, I, there's no reason not to carry Solar Beam on Charizard. So, taking their time... Yeah, there it is. Alright, so we can gain my opponent. Uh... But yeah, um, ugh, it's so weird only bringing three Pokemon. It's like I should build two different teams on where like two Pokemon can go with either mode or something. So yeah, I I needed I needed to bring an a better answer to Gar or to Charizard than just Heatran. So I should I I should have brought I really should just brought Garchomp. I think it's Stone Edget and that Scarf. God, I don't know why. I can't believe I forgot about Spore. Alright, well, there's a hard L. Let's, uh... Let's go for the next one. I'm not sure. I'm assuming I can get, like, three or four battles in an episode, because I feel like these are going to go pretty quick. Yeah, we find our next opponent, Batman from Mexico, rating at 1392. Oh, man. Okay, so, Cloyster, Crobat, Sylveon, Scrafty, Fraligator, and Venusaur. So only one potential Mega and Venusaur. I know Fraligator likes to set up Dragon Dance. Sylveon's just... Sylveon can be a Cleric type of Pokemon with like Wish support, but Hyper Voice is still really deadly. Shell Smash is the thing on Cloyster. Probably like a Dragon Dance Scrafty. So I feel like he has a lot of setup. Which makes Tapu Fini seem really good here. In fact, I might lead Tapu Fini. Uh, I like Scizor... Yeah, Scizor can be good. I just, the Feraligator, I want to weaken. I'm going to lead Tapu Fini. Scizor in the back. I don't think I need Garchomp here. Hmm. What would be good against the rest of his team? Because Finny, Finny kind of covers the Feraligator, the Scrafty, and even the Cloyster quite a bit, or Scizor can deal with the Sylveon, the Venusaur, uh, the Crobat, barring, like, it does have Brave Bird. Maybe we'll just bring Garchomp. Uh, yeah, that's hard. I'm gonna, I'll bring Garchomp. We'll just go with my stand. Like, these are, like, the three Pokemon I built this team around. So, let's, uh, let's go with that. Uh, gosh, yeah, three Pokemon. It's so weird to me. Maybe the next team I'll build like a build around two Pokemon and stuff that goes for both. So it does leave for Alligator. That's okay. This I feel pretty good about this matchup. Uh, I don't know how much Moonblast will do. I think I'm just gonna Nature's Madness. Yeah, let's do that. Cause that'll if then if he does switch, I I hit something. I you know I do fifty percent to something. I don't know how much Moonblast is going to do to this. Yeah, he does switch. It's going to be Crobat. Yep. But. So that's why I'm for Nature's Madness. Because it does do a lot of damage. Of course, the one thing I worry about is it having, like, Acid Downpour. So I think this is an opportunity to go out into Scizor. I mean, this feels pretty obvious. If it Brave Birds, that would hurt. But yeah, it feels like I'm trying to go out into Scizor and potentially set up. I definitely gonna want want to watch out, but I imagine, yeah, acid downpour, right? Oh no, a flying Z move. Yeah, I could have stayed in and attacked. Cause I don't think that would have knocked out Feeny. So this is gonna hurt. Well, the fact that it's a Z move tells me it's not. It's more offensive. So it's not one of the bulky Crobats. Things like Defog and Roost. So I might be able to just take this out with a bullet punch. I can't set up. 
Or can I roost? Yeah, I'll just go for the bullet punch. I might be able to take it out if it's a more offensive one. Corbett isn't the bulkiest Pokemon without investment, so he is staying in. Yeah, I could have stayed in with Feeny and just attacked, because I don't think that would have knocked out Feeny. I was just thinking it might have been like Acid Downpour. So let's see if this is enough. Is Technician boosted? Oh, it's not. Goes for U turn. Dang, that would have been a good turn to Roost. But I do got it weakened, so I can bullet punch it later. And Garchomp is scarfed. So that can deal with the Crobat as well. So he does go into Feraligator. Question is, do I save the Scizor? Because I ease. I feel like going into Finny is a lot safer. Because I don't want him to awkward. Even if he sets up, like. I don't think Feraligator has much for Tapu Fini, so. I'm gonna go out into Fini here. I think it's just safe. Just save Scizor's Bullet Punch, because, like, that sh that locks down the. That'll lock down the, uh, Crobat. Yeah, see, so he, just, he just goes for the attack. So, that was a good switch. We can. Does a pretty decent chunk. So, I think now's a good time. I do just. Do I want a Moon Blast? Let me think about that, because if I... Moonblast, it just depends what he has in the back. I don't know if he would have Venusaur. Venusaur is... Yeah, because if he has Venusaur, Scizor is really important, because I can set up, I can heal and set up on that. So, I am going to just Moonblast here. Matrix Madness still might be a better play, but I'm going to go ahead and Moonblast. See what he switches in, if he switches. I have no idea if that's like what kind of damage that. Okay, so he's not choice, he just goes for earthquakes. So I think it's EQ. Makes sense. MC is faster. I don't think another one will take me out. Oh, he's life orb. How come I didn't. Oh, because he's sheer force, duh. Alright. Oh man, I think I can take. That was close. It's really close if I can take another one. But I got him weakened, so that's good. So I'm gonna Moon Blast. Yeah, because that's makes sense, because Earthquake does get a sheer force uh, boost. So even if he knocks me out, I'll just go out into Garchomp. Okay, he does. So I'll go out into Garchomp. And I think I've pressed Dragon. I think I'll be pressing Dragon Claw. Scissor Bullet Punches. So let's go out into this. But yeah, I just don't know what he has in the back. That's like the one, one thing I'm worried about. Cause like, I don't want an earthquake. Cause we know the crowbats in the back. Um, and I can't outrage. Cause I don't know if Sylveon. Oh, that's right on Dragon Claw. Cause if he goes into Sylveon, that's the that's a problem. I mean, do I lock into outrage? I mean, Poison Jab probably takes him out. I just don't know what he has in the back. Hmm. I can't imagine he goes into Crobat here. Did he bring Sylveon? I'm gonna walk into Outrage. Okay. See if he brought Sylveon. I mean, if he did, I should be able to set up on it. I can roost off any damage it wants to go for. And Swords Dance. No, it's Cloister. Alright. Perfect. So he didn't bring the Sylveon. So I am okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm locked into Outrage. And I'm okay with that because this will do big damage. As long as I, because I should put, if I can put everything in Bullet Punch range, that's going to be close. But he just attacks. So this should take me out. Um, I don't know if I'm in, if he's in bullet punch range because it's neutral. Mm. Gosh, I knew I should have locked into Stone Edge. <laughs> so I go into Scizor. This cloister. I'm gonna assume this cloister is faster. So I don't think I can ruse. Man, I think it depends if I bullet punch take this out or not. Cloister has so much defense. I don't think it will. 
man. Okay, um... He's on base 75. Cloister's... Probably, he's probably usually run max speed. I think I have to bullet punch. Let's see. If this doesn't take it out, I should just lose. I don't think it will. No, not even close. Miss? Ah. Uh, well, one, two, uh... No, that should take me out. Barely. Ah, well, good game my opponent. Obviously, the scissor idea is not working too well. Just because it needs to set up to do damage. Ah, man, that sucks. There's lots of uh, for alligator. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go to another one. I'm going to be shooting to make these about 25, 30 minutes long. So it looks like three battles an episode is looks like it'll be pretty doable. But, yeah, maybe, maybe it's a good thing the ladders are setting because we're tanking. I just don't really know, like, the meta super well. Gosh, I lost 20 points from that. It's so bad. Oh, man. Alright, find another 1300 player from Japan. At least we're finding opponents pretty quick. So we see Muck, Dusk, Lycanroc, Alakazam, Luxray, Gastrodon, and Melodic. Okay, this is a game where I won't, I won't bring Scizor. Because he's got three Pokemon that resist. Yeah. I definitely want to... I do want to bring the Garchomp. Because Garchomp does a... Yeah, it hits three of his Pokemon super effectively. And I can outspeed both Alakazam and um, Lycanroc with the Scarf. Heatran may not be the best call. This is... looks like a tank growth game, too. I could lead that, even. Muck, Muck is his best answer to tank growth. Muck and Alakazam, because Alakazam will probably Oko it. So how to deal with Alakazam? So if I lead Garchomp, Melodic and Gastrodon are the biggest threats, but I have I can switch into tank growth for that. So I'll leave Garchomp, Tangrowth in the back. Because those are the two biggest threats. And then dealing with Alakazam is something I probably want to know how to figure out. Dang, this is tough. Let's go Feeny. Alright, yeah. Let's go Feeny. I was thinking about Heatran. Because it could, in theory, beat the Alakazam, but I think Alakazam a lot of times carry Focus Blast, and that would cause issues. But definitely Tangrowth and Garchomp I like here. So I'll lead that. So she gives him Scarf. Just hit something. What are they leading? Lycanroc. Yeah, see, I can just Earthquake this. I don't, if I remember right, he doesn't have any switch to Earthquake. No, he doesn't. So yeah, I, I think I just lock into Earthquake here. And if he's not Sash, it should just take him out. Yeah, there's the Scarf. I think this thing gets Ice Fang. Oh, he's not Sash. Oh, he is, of course. I guess this is a pretty... T Maybe he's going for Stealth Rock. Oh my gosh, counter? What? Ugh, what is this? Sash counter lichen rock. That's neat, I guess. Um, dang. Okay, what's the biggest threat to Tangrowth? Shoot, that that now Alakazam can probably just run through me. Maybe I should have brought Scizor. Got a dealt Alakazam. Huh. Man, <laughs> Sash counter lichen rock. This is insane. Oh, I'll go into. Uh, if he has Muck, I'm in trouble. I am in serious trouble. Nah, there's Alakazam. This is over. I can't stop this thing. I should have went into Feeny. Like, one attack from this thing is going to just destroy me. I'm going to go for a Sleep Powder. Maybe I live. Man, Sash counter Lycanroc. Come on. What is what even is, is that like a thing in singles or is or am I just getting like a bad pair up here? 
generator, that's nice. I don't think I live in attack here. Oh, he goes for protect. He has protect? I wonder why. I could have switched into Feeny for free. <sighs> this thing's just gonna destroy me. Oh, he's to protect disable? That's annoying. What are you what are you doing? Huh. Alright, I'm just gonna switch out to Feeny. I wanna save this. In case he has Gastron or Melodic. Protect Disable. Alright. So this should be what a psychic coming out. On oh! That's cheeky. Protect Disable Encore. Alright, I am going to Nature's. I'm gonna Moonblast. Actually. Because he probably protects. And now he's gonna disable my Moonblast. I'm just gonna Z move. Oh no, he's gonna disable. Yeah, he's gonna disable my. Yeah, I'm gonna Z move here. I don't know if this will take it out, but we're gonna try, dang it. Yeah, he disables that. You know, actually going for the Z move was probably a mistake. Because now he can encore me into back into Moonblast, so I'll probably have to switch. If this doesn't KO, I have no idea this is gonna KO. You know, I could have Z moved it through the Protect last turn and then Moonblast it. I can't imagine this KOs. Oh, maybe it does. Oh, sweet, it does. Cause Alka's, I mean, it feels like a physical attack. It definitely would have, but Alkazam's pretty. Uh, I, th I thought Alkazam had pretty decent special defense. Though its HP is still pretty pathetic. Luxray. Oh, perfect. I think we can beat that with Tangrowth. So I will let him. I will just try and get some damage off. If he KOs me, he KOs me. No reason in switching him. Uh, I'll just go for Nature's Madness. Get some damage off. I am faster, that's cool. Alright. Awesome. He just goes for Wild Charge. Maybe this KOs? It does. Alright, but he does damage to him. He does recoil damage to himself, so... Tangrowth can come in, I can just Leech Seed it. I may not even have to Leech Seed at this point. Probably just Giga Dream. Because Leech Seed can miss, and he... Um... Doubt. I don't know if you have any move that can do law, and I am very physically bulky. So yeah, I think I can just safely Giga Drain here to win. Oh yeah, he might be locked into Wild Charge even. Do I have a Rocky Helmet? I feel like I gave this thing a Rocky Helmet. Yeah, I did. So that itself does it. I forgot to give this Rocky Helmet. Cool. So uh, hey, we actually won a game. So. Yeah, this is a lot. It's gonna be a lot harder than I expected, just because I'm just not super aware of what Pokemon are gonna do. And obviously, I, when I'm building a team, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just thinking, oh, this is cool. This is cool. So, but yeah, we'll see. Well, it'll be fun. We'll see how I improve as I do this series. So, all right. Well, that'll be the first episode. We're sitting at almost 30 minutes. So, looking like we'll probably get three battles, uh, three battles every day with this. Battle Swap singles. So, anyways, alright guys, I'll catch you in the next episode, either tomorrow or Wednesday, it just depends when I get the Gardevoir team analysis up. So, alright guys, I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.